Hey everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. Now many of you ask me that while doing the clean installation of Windows 11 or Windows 10 using the bootable USB created with the Rufus or created with the Ventoy, they are not getting the page where they can choose the edition like Pro Edition or the Home Edition or the Enterprise and so it automatically installs the Home Edition automatically. But no worries, today I will be sharing an amazing trick that you need to apply and this will be applicable for both operating system like Windows 10 or Windows 11, whether it is 23H2 or 24H2. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. All right, so on my desktop, you can see I have a bootable USB here that is Windows 11 24H2. And this one I created using the Rufu software. And I have the same problem while installing using this USB. I'm not getting the addition page. All right, so what you have to do, you need to apply the simple trick right click on your desktop hover up to new and from the suggestion choose text document open the text document now here you will have to paste the code that will be bracket open channel bracket close space enter underscore default space enter bracket open vl bracket closed space enter and then zero i will leave this code in the description you will have to copy and paste all right, so once you have pasted, now click on file, click on save as, and this file you have to save in the Windows 11 24H2 bootable USB sources folder. All right, now here from the left hand side, choose Windows 11 24H2, the bootable USB that you have already created. Then from the right hand side, you will find the sources folder, double click on it. And here exactly only we have to save this file. Now the next one is very important part that is the file name and this we have to name it as ei.cfg. So type ei.cfg and save as type choose to all file. All right, so very simple. It will be saved in the sources folder of your bootable USB. The file name will be ei.cfg all file and now click on save. And you are all done. Now go ahead and close this file. And the next time when you boot with this bootable USB and try to clean install Windows 11 or Windows 10, you will not be having any problem. So let me quickly boot it and show you. So restart the computer and boot with the bootable USB. Select the USB device. All right, so we now got the Windows 11 setup page that is Windows 11 24H2. So here I will be choosing the language, currency format, keyboard layout. I would like to install Windows 11. Yes, I will check it. Click on next. We are getting a few things ready. And bingo. So now you can see we got the addition page here. And I can choose Windows 11 Home, Windows 11 Pro Edition, Windows 11 Education, or any other version that I would like to install. All right. So this way you can easily fix this problem. And now you will be getting the addition page. Now let's talk about the Ventoy because many people also have the problem with the Ventoy like while installing Windows 11 or 10 through the Ventoy USB they are also not getting the addition page. Now there are few more workarounds for the Ventoy user. What they will have to do as you can see here I have a Ventoy USB with all the multiple operating system here. So now the process will be a bit different not too much a bit different. Make a right click on your desktop again hover up to new. From the suggestion again choose the text document bring it up and paste the same code that we pasted in the previous step that you will be getting in the description once pasted now you have to click on file and this one you have to save into your desktop so from the left hand side you will have to select desktop the file name will be the same ei.cfg and save as type will be to all files all right, so this will be saved into your desktop. Then click on save. And now in order to move this file to the Windows installation page in the Ventoy, you will not be able to directly paste it. And for that, you will have to use a third party tool that, that is AnyBurn, which is a free tool. So bring up any of your browser, search for the AnyBurn. And here you have to download the AnyBurn tool that will be absolutely free. Once you have downloaded and installed, bring it up. And you will be getting this kind of page here. 
Now here from the right hand side, you will have to click on edit image file. Then it says select an image file. So click on the folder icon at the right hand side. From the left hand side, you will have to choose the Ventoy where you have the ISO of the windows that you want to install with the addition. So I will choose Ventoy. Then I have multiple OS here. So for example, I will choose Windows 11 24H2. And then I have to click on open. Click on next. Now here you will find all the Windows 11 installation file. So again, you have to look for the sources. Double click on it. And here now we can add the ei.cfg file that we created. All right, so click on add. Look in desktop. And search for ei.cfg. Select it. Click on add. Now once added, you can view the file here that is being added ei.cfg. And this will be helping us to get the addition page. Now click on next. Select image file name. We can just rename so that we can easily identify. I will add new here and click on create now and the process will now be started and it may take about 10 to 15 minutes so you will have to wait until it's all been done all right so finally it's been done and it says creating image file finished successfully and you will have to click on exit now and you are good to go so now this time let me again boot with this ventoi usb and try to install the windows 11 and show you that it will show up the addition page now all right, so go ahead and restart the computer, boot with the bootable USB, and then you will be getting the Ventoy page. Now here, choose the one that we finally created using the ID burn. And if you remember, that was by the name Windows 11 24H2 English X64 New. All right, so this one you have to choose. Then hit the enter key. Boot in normal mode, hit the enter key again. And it will now be loading up. So the Windows logo is up. And very soon we will be having the Windows 11 installation page. Okay, bingo. All right, so again, go ahead and choose your language. Choose the time and currency format. Choose the keyboard layout. Choose the select option. So I will install Windows 11. I will check the box. Click on next. We are getting a few things ready. All right, well done. So now you can see we have the addition page here and it asks us select the image. Please select the image you want to install so we can choose Windows 11 Home, Pro, Education or any other uh, version from here only. Alright, so very easy trick in order to bring up the addition page while installing the Windows 11 or Windows 10 using the bootable USB or using the Ventoy USB. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you found this information useful. And if you really found useful, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.